Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane, and I just finished my second year of medical school. I can't believe I'm halfway done. In this video, I want to talk about some of the differences between second year medical school and the first year. While they were pretty similar, there were some noticeable differences. The pace of second year of school was definitely more intense, and this is partially because a lot of the material built upon stuff that we had already learned in first year. There'd be plenty of times in class when the professors would say something along the lines of, and because we covered this last year, or, and because you already know this, and they would just skip over huge chunks of material. And you know, being the great student that I am, I didn't remember any of it. But it was okay, because we had plenty of time to review it. And when I spoke with my classmates and friends, it seemed like everyone else was in the same boat as well. For some of the professors who recognized this, they were really nice about it and gave us time and material to review. So for example, when we were learning the musculoskeletal block, we had to recall a lot of the things that we learned in anatomy from last year, like the brachial plexus or lumbar plexus and nerve roots. Um, stuff that was definitely not familiar to me. The professor gave us a really good review and helped us relearn a lot of the important points from anatomy. I thought that going over things a second time was really helpful because the second time around, I definitely picked up the material a lot faster and it was really helpful to reinforce a lot of the really important points from the first year of medical school. Another change that I observed was that as the school year progressed, there was a change in mentality. More and more people began to start talking about boards and setting for step one. Even our deans and professors would start mentioning it more often. And I noticed a lot of people changed their studying habits. And instead of solely studying for class material, they would divide their time between both studying for class and studying for boards. And since they were dividing their efforts, they had a lot less time devoted to school material. And I noticed a lot of people would stress out a lot more before exams. As the amount of people who talked about boards increased, so did everyone's stress levels. Towards the end of the year though, I found that talking to other people, we were able to really share study tips and share our schedules for how we wanted to study for boards. And this was really helpful. Before I finish this video, I want to leave you guys with a piece of advice. And this is applicable to anyone who has a major event coming up, especially second year students with boards. And my advice is not to focus on that upcoming goal every single day, but instead try to break it down into manageable bite-sized chunks, such as daily or weekly objectives that you can achieve. And the reasoning for this is that if you always think about that long-term goal, you'll never feel yourself making any progress or getting any closer. But if you set those daily or weekly objectives, you can actually reach them and feel like you're making progress towards your goal. And this goes a long ways into keeping yourself motivated. So for example, when I was getting stressed out studying for boards, even though it was months away, I would often talk to my boyfriend and he would ask me, well, what do you need to get done today? Or what do you need to get done this week? And by talking through my schedule, I was able to figure out what it was I needed to get done. And once I was able to focus on my daily schedule, I felt like I was in charge again and getting stuff done and making progress. And that goes a long way into reducing your stress levels. So where I'm at now, I just finished my second year classes and I'm beginning to get ready to study for boards. This year, I made a lot of changes to improve my studying habits and I made a lot of good healthy lifestyle changes as well to accompany them. So if you're interested in getting your study game on, stay tuned for an upcoming video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.